Hey everybody, this is Dave Blair from the Simpit Crew, and in case you've been living under a rock, now is the time for the Steam Summer Sale. I'm a little late on this, but uh, it goes till July 9th of 2020, and let's take a look. Okay, we're going to look at racing games. All right, if you do not have a Settle Corsa for five bucks, you cannot go wrong. Project Cars 2 for $9. Um, I would recommend this also. This is a, a good game. Um, and there's still people online playing it. Dirt Rally 2 for $10. Fantastic. I've been having a lot of fun in that one. Uh, Wreckfest for $16. Um, yeah, I'd say it's worth it still. Um that's a pretty good price, and there, there's even a lot of stuff in there for uh, offline if you wanted, but that one's more fun with friends. iRacing, this game is fantastic. Um, yeah, I do most of my stuff in iRacing right now, but I would not buy it through Steam. I think it's easier buying it directly through iRacing. And if you guys have any problems or you're new to iRacing, I highly recommend joining uh, the Simpit uh, Discord channel. It's now open to everybody. You can find links for that on Sean Cole's uh, The Simpit Show on YouTube. And um, also, I think the Simpit Crew channel also has links to the Discord. I'm not sure. But anyway, you should be able to find it. Um, but there's lots of friendly guys in there that can answer all your questions with iRacing. I had tons of them when I started playing it. So, um, yeah, iRacing is one of my favorite racing games right now mainly because that's where all my friends are at but um it's also i do that's where i do all my uh online racing anyway i just like the format um they have scheduled races right now i'm doing the uh the porsche or the rough gt3 road series and i'm also doing the xfinity nascar series um but no you pick a series uh, you get into it, and it's just fantastic. You have like uh, 30 minutes before the race starts. You can jump in, do a few practice laps, make your adjustments. Um, then usually you click for the race after, you know, when it, when it's the right time. It gives you a chance to jump up, go to the bathroom, and then you're ready for the race. You come out, you do, uh, usually it's two laps of qualifying, and then wherever you qualify, that's when the race kicks off. So excellent. I highly recommend that. I forgot to turn my phone off. All right, Acetyl Corsa. Um, now, I bought this in early access for $25, so it's on sale right now for $24. I would say this is worth it, too. This one's really coming on, and uh, it's got great VR now. Um, it's got basically your GT3 cars, but they're adding GT4. So if you're not in on this one, you should definitely get in on this one. Now, this Beam MG, um, I actually have it on my wish list. I was waiting for it to go off a little bit more, but this is something that I was interested only in the, um, the physics that are involved here, and I haven't tried it yet, so that one's on my wish list. Uh, NASCAR Heat. If you're not doing iRacing, this is probably one of the only titles you're going to get uh, oval racing. So for $7.50, that's not a bad deal. Let's see. I've not been a big fan of the F1 games. I don't really care for uh, the feel of it or the story or the way it forces you through certain things. Sometimes you just like, I just want to get in and drive. And it, you know, you have to jump through all these hoops before you even get going. Okay, Race Room Racing Experience. Um, I really enjoy this title. I think it's got good sounds. It's got um, good racing. There's still some online racing in here too. And um, this is an underutilized, and mainly the it's their own fault for the way that they sell this thing. You don't want to buy it through Steam. You you want you want to go to their own store. They have these uh, I don't know V V R P bucks or something like that that you have to buy. I mean, it's really a messed up way to uh, buy into this game. But if you've not tried it, you can download it for free. But it doesn't give you that much. Um, at the bare minimum, though, you can buy one car and one track that you might know that's your favorite track. That's the best way to try this out because if you just use the free stuff, 
you're going to be in a car you don't know on a track you don't know and it's a lot um it just asks a lot from you um you know to go through all these settings just to try out a car and track you're not comfortable with and it's a it's a bad experience so uh if you want if you are interested in this title i recommend buying a car that you know and like maybe a gt3 car if that's what you're into and then a track that you know um, that is the best way to try this out. And even if you don't like it, you're not out that much money if you just buy one car and one track. And also, I'm not a fan of the way they sell it, but um, if you go on YouTube, uh, somebody else can steer you in the right direction on what's the best way to spend the least amount of money to get the content. Okay, R Factor 2 uh, for $16. I'm not a big fan of this one. I know everyone likes the... Um, the force feedback on this one, um, out of all the racing games that I have in my library, this is the one I've I've used the least. Uh, the graphics are really dated for me. The user interface is really sloppy. Um, and again, this one takes a lot to figure out. But if you're into that thing, if you want to take a deep dive, this could be a good title. Um, I know that they have a lot of the online... Um, endurance league type thing so you're going to have to get involved with the league and things like that again if you're into that this could be a good title if you're not it's a lot of hoops to jump through it's not like um you know forza where you can just get on and go multiplayer racing okay dirt four for six dollars and 24 cents at that price i would say it's worth it um i did I played this game for free on the Xbox because I have Game Pass. Um, and yeah, it didn't really do it for me. It's a little arcadey, but, um, you know, in the whole dude bro thing, I, I don't know. I just, I really, I spent very little time on it. But for $6.25, $0.24, cents, that's not bad. I'm, you know, again, if you're looking for like an more of an arcadey, but slash uh, simulation or simcade, if you will, uh, you might want to give this one a try. It's not going to have all your uh, rally racing and things like that, but it's just got a mixture of stuff. Okay, Dirt Rally is another one for $5. It's if I would recommend Dirt Rally 2 over this one. Um, don't even waste your 5 bucks here. Road Redemption might be cool for $8. Um, again, I have this one on the Xbox for free. It's in Game Pass. Um, but yeah, I, I played uh, Road Rash uh, a long time ago was uh, I love that game, but um, this one is slightly different. I wasn't really impressed with Road Redemption, but it is similar to Road Rash if that does anything for you. The next one you want to look at is Automobilista 2. It just came out, uh, was fully released now, and for $40. Um, yeah, I would watch a few reviews on this. Uh, it has a lot of different tracks. Uh, not your main ones, a lot of uh, South America focus uh, with the cars and track combinations. So, you know, you might be into it and you might not. Um, it is a good game. It seems like an up-and-comer. The VR is really good. The force feedback is good. But again, it's cars and tracks you may not know. Uh, grid, not interested. Um, again, I tried the demo on this on Xbox. Uh, for $12, I don't know. I just don't like the way it drives. Um, same thing with Need for Speed. They're just too arcadey. Um, you know, it's like when you take your foot off the gas, it's like braking for you or something. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. Okay, and the last one I wanted to point out is Cartcraft. I've heard some good things about this one. I haven't bought it yet. Uh, it's an early access game. But for $14, again, I've heard some good things about it. If you're into the go-kart thing, this could be a good title. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to cover some of the sales right now. And you kind of need to hurry up because July 9th is when the sale ends. And there's some really good deals out here. If you don't have those racing games, if you're interested at all, you'll save yourself some money by getting them now. And, yeah, I just wanted to give a heads up that the sale's going on. So if you need these titles, come and get them. All right, thanks for watching.